Isha Foundation, a non-profit organization founded by Sadhguru that has been dedicated to the well-being of the individual and the world for the past three decades. The last decade has been a dynamic and diverse period of activity for Isha and Sadhguru. Social projects of global impact, spiritual processes touching over a billion people globally, and powerful consecrated spaces to raise human consciousness have had a profound positive impact on individuals and in turn on the world. In the last decade, Sadhguru has offered tools for transformation available free of cost through in-person programs, online, large-scale celebrations, in schools, colleges, offices and homes. These simple practices help people from all sections of society take their lives into their hands. Sadhguru was also invited to lead the International Day of Yoga celebrations in the UN headquarters in New York and has been part of the United Nations effort to utilize yoga in the goal to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We would like to understand your vision of how the underlying principles of yoga can be applied here in the greater UN system. Yoga means you obliterate these individual boundaries, bringing this experience into people that what you think as myself is not within the boundaries of your physical nature. If this becomes a living reality, then fulfilling these goals that the United Nations has for the world is… becomes much more possible. Sadhguru, you were in Siachen, the International Day of Yoga. What was your experience there? The whole world is turning towards India for inner well-being. We must bring it to the access of our forces that our soldiers and our officers must have the best capability to manage their mind and their interiority. The Mahashivratri celebration at the Isha Yoga Center is one of the largest on the planet. Hundreds of millions of people on television, online and at the center itself experience the power of this night through the meditations and processes conducted by Sadhguru. Adi Yogi will inspire many generations to take up yoga. Place where we have gathered is going to be a source of inspiration to immerse and discover truth. The only remarkable thing that Sadhguru has done, he has made yogis out of ordinary common people. I am experiencing the very same feelings when I visited Kailas Mansarovar. Pay my respect to Sadhguru for organizing Maha Sivaratri celebrations on such a grand scale. My work is to make the mystical simple, approachable, accessible. You need to grow and establish your logic and then cross it. If you do not cross the logic, the magic of life, the mystery of life, the mystical nature of the existence will never ever touch you. It is not that human being is incapable of attaining to the highest without going to this place or that place. He can attain within himself. But still, going to the right places at the right time of your life definitely hastens the process. If you can make this flesh or even a stone or even an empty space, into a divine possibility that is called consecration. Your evolution need not stick to Darwinian scale. You can simply leapfrog and go if you live in a consecrated space.
if I am given the necessary support and situation, I could consecrate the whole planet, that's what I'm good at. I can just turn thin air into a very powerful, vibrant space. We have established a very powerful Tirtha Kshetram here at Isha Yoga Center. Necessary consecrations and energy establishments have happened for this generation and for the future of mankind. What we have done here in these last three days, all of you have a role in making this happen. This will transform the entire region in the coming years. The entire Isha Foundation, this has been the stress always, integrity, not capability. I will give them the capability. Capability, we can infuse it into people, but they must have basic integrity of body, mind, energy. People who are willing to dedicate themselves for others' well-being are needed in the society. So Brahmachiris are an investment for future, to keep spirituality in its pristine purity and to transmit it from generation to generation. If you can do something which is way bigger than you, that is the greatest privilege a human being has in his life. So once you start importing yoga, many other things will happen that you yourself will not understand. So to create those kind of people who uh, are spiritually strong, that uh, spiritual process is not a uh, morning and evening thing, it's simply on like your breath and it's as real as your breath because without these people there can be no spiritual movement. Isha Yoga programs have continued to expand. The flagship Inner Engineering program is now available online in 14 languages. Your joy and misery, your love and hate, your pain and pleasure or just all experiences are your making. You can and you must take it into your hands. You are the maker of your life. Inner engineering is a process that is designed to give you the tools to make your life the way you want it. The inner engineering process has touched the lives and benefited people from various backgrounds, including business people, students, housewives, public figures, rural communities and prison inmates. Now we have also done some research in the last three years or so with uh, Isha Yoga. It is activating the genes which are critical for restricting the coronavirus from infecting the cell. We saw even bigger effect size in terms of 50% reduction in depression and anxiety. Sadhguru also began the Isha school of Hatha Yoga those who want to keep a certain level of mental capability and want to make themselves in such a way that their body is not a barrier in their life, all of them are slowly shifting to yoga across the planet. If all of us do the right things, in the next fifteen years, there will be such a huge shift in the human consciousness. Sadhguru has opened up the Sadhna Pada program where participants can stay at the Isha Yoga Center and go through powerful processes for inner well-being. This program is offered free of cost to participants from around the world. They will volunteer in various aspects, but all of it used as a sadhana for your growth in six months time. In your body, you must be stronger and younger. In your mind, you must be sharper and much more stable. In your emotions, you must be very lucid. In your energies, you must be intense and stable. We want to bring this kind of people to the world. Sadhguru is internationally known for changing lives. His mission to spread spiritual, emotional and physical well-being recently brought him here to New York. What do we need to do to kind of reset ourselves, re-engineer? Well, it's in engineering, what happens within us is not happening our way because we are not engineered the way we want. 
Good engineering simply means it works the way we want, isn't it? If America invests in evolving consciousness in the leadership and in the common man in America, their ability to do and their ability to change the way the world lives is phenomenal. In his new book, Inner Engineering, Yogi Sadhguru explains more about what yoga is and isn't. So I'm very interested in the intersection of our worlds, science and mysticism. I thought we live on the same planet. A big study came out. 54% of physicians in America uh, meet criteria for burnout. The physicians of the world, at least they must become an embodiment of health and vitality. This must happen. Whatever is needed from our end, we're willing to do for Ail and yourself, do a little. Thank you so much. I know that you started at Harvard Medical School and the Beth Israel Hospital, a, a Sadhguru Center for a Conscious Planet. We as human beings are hugely empowered lives. What 10,000 people could not do, a single person can do today. Once we have such a capability, it's extremely important that individual human beings are in an elevated state of consciousness. amazing experience. Uh, I'm just very honored and to speak to this amazing man, Seth Guru, who's been on an amazing journey to learn about Native culture. With absolute passion for everything around them and a certain sense of dispassion about their own life, about their own death, I think there is a lot that modern societies need to pick up from ancient societies. I could see his spirit. Very strong. The world awaits Sadhguru's next move, and ladies and gentlemen, he's off. Sadhguru, ladies and gentlemen. Sadhguru. Sadhguru. Sadhguru's engagement with the leadership continued in the last decade. Sadhguru was much sought after in global business forums, leadership institutions and corporate events and also engaged with various influential leaders across the world. Well, Sadhguru, it's a pleasure to have you here with us today at the World Bank and I know there are many colleagues who uh, have followed you closely. My essential work in the last twenty years has been with leadership, various levels of leadership, business leadership, bureaucratic leadership and social leadership and political leadership. My work has been largely to move people from their personal ambitions to a larger vision. As a mystic and as a guru, what do you think about capitalism, business, entrepreneurialism? The businesses have to be structured like this. You must think of solving world's problems rather than just thinking of some fanciful ambition. How to impact maximum number of lives and where can we do it? Building on the momentum and awareness he has created about the need for a conscious leadership, in 2012, Sadhguru initiated Isha Leadership Academy, which offers the annual four-day leadership program, Insight, and the three-day Human is Not a Resource Conclave. Uh, absolutely uh, terrific, really amazing, unbelievable. Uh, I've been to many business seminars over the years and surely this is the best, the best of all time. In 2010, Isha's Project Green Hands was awarded India's highest environmental award by the President of India. The following decade has seen Isha become an influential global voice in the sphere of environment which is helping to shape policy and transform ecology into a subject of major public concern. The political parties on the planet must make ecology as the number two agenda on every election manifesto. Yes. We want to achieve this in the next five years' time across the world. Sadhguru has also set forth massive initiatives such as Kaveri Calling and Rally for Rivers, which are all inclusive efforts to rectify soil degradation, water scarcity, atmospheric carbon and farmer poverty. 
example, the Rally for Rivers was largely an awareness campaign to bring about a change in the policy as to how we conduct our rivers. The Niti Aayog made this into an official recommendation for all the 29 states. We also launched an on-ground action program in the Yavatmal region, which is unfortunately known as the suicide capital of this country. Uh, for the Wagadi River, which is a 54-kilometer stretch. Kaveri Calling is a, a project which is in partnership with the farmers, with the government and with the larger civil society. Now we are moving into a very large-scale tree-based agriculture. Here, we need 2.42 billion trees to revive the river. Now there is government subsidy and we have relaxed the policy that you can grow and cut your trees when you want. Isha's efforts have established a new direction for ecological restoration, where environmental work is also economically profitable for farmers, rural communities and society at large. Contributing to the goal of growing, restoring and conserving one trillion trees worldwide by 2030. Um, and that's why we're delighted to have Sadhguru um, with us. If we do not marry economy and ecology, economy will win hands down. It is very important that it becomes an economic process for the people. Major forums and international organizations have recognized Isha's role through an array of accreditations and awards and have welcomed Sadhguru's participation in the crucial work of establishing a planet rich in clean water, air and soil for future generations. Eric Solheim, Executive Director of the UN Environment. To me, you are the incarnation of the Sustainable <laughs> Development Goals. <laughs> it's very important that farming is made into an attractive process, economically very attractive process. So one solution that we are asking for is to farm large-scale farmers, producers, organizations. We have a farmers producer organization here, Coimbatore. They gave three young people three smartphones. They just renegotiate the produce every day. With this, the farmers' income has doubled. We are very happy to work with the Isha Foundation. We sincerely hope that there will be more leaders like you from around the world, not only in India but in other parts of the world. Sadhguru was also an influential force in the movement to ban single-use plastic, launched on World Environment Day 2018. Sadhguru launched Fashion for Peace to transform global fashion into a more sustainable process for human well-being and to revive India's traditional textiles. My name is Aparna. My mother is a tailor. I like this school very much. Isha's Rural Education Initiative, Isha Vidya, now runs 10 schools, educating 8,900 students in two states, Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. These children, at least 47 percent, are first generation going to school the parents are in abject poverty and the way they're blossoming, the way their enthusiasm, they're wanting to know and learn, are just… You, you just cannot come out of that place without tears in your eyes. The schools are also serving as model schools through which the standard of education across the region can be raised. We have a government order to adopt government schools and this also goes with the midday meal nourishment. We put extra eight to ten teachers of our teachers who are highly inspired and trained for this job and we identify the weaker students and work with them. Sadhguru is also contributing to and guiding a transformation in the way education happens in India and across the world. What kind of world? is going to be there in another twenty-five years is determined by what we are doing right now in our schools and homes in the form of education. Education is not 
a production line. It's an organic happening. Are we as a society willing to in some way cultivate the ecosystem in the society which is suitable for a child to grow up in the best possible way is a question that all of us should ask. Sadhguru's vision for inclusive education has also reached Africa. In Uganda, Sadhguru schools offer rural African youth an international standard of education and tools for inner balance and clarity. Isha's Rural Health Initiatives in Southern India have been offering free health care to vulnerable and isolated communities since 2005. In the last decade, this effort has evolved into empowering communities to take their health and well-being into their own hands. Awareness camps, herbal gardens, solid waste management and basic healthcare training for local volunteers are helping rural people create a culture of health. Action for Rural Rejuvenation is mainly aimed at rejuvenating the human spirit. It is a rural revitalization program offering medical care, community rehabilitation and human upliftment. तमिल नाडु के लिए आपने एक ऑर्गेनाइज्ड वे में रचना करके काम को एक स्थाई रूप दिया है मैंने तो आपके प्रयासों को खुद देखा है ईशा वॉलंटियर्स हैव आल्सो बीन एट द फोरफ्रंट ऑफ डिजास्टर रिलीफ एफर्ट्स ओवर द इयर्स एज नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स स्ट्रक द रीजन सतगुरु हैज आल्सो बीन वर्किंग विद लीडर्स एंड इंस्टीट्यूशंस अराउंड द वर्ल्ड in order to establish a culture of health globally. The ideal would be that we look at human well-being, not human health. Then you would consider what makes a human being complete and approach all of them together. We have to bring a culture of health where every human being is committed to their health. In the next twenty-five years, we can create a culture of health if the necessary commitment is there to make this happen. More than three billion people in almost 70 countries and territories have been asked to stay at home. We, we live in very uncertain times due to the COVID-19 pandemic. What has been the one big teaching according to you for us as individuals, as a society, as a nation uh, from this COVID-19 pandemic? This is the time every human being should strive to see how you can be a better human being in every possible way, physically, mentally, emotionally and also in terms of whatever we're doing, our competence. We have put out a very simple, powerful process called Simha Kriya. This is a kind of process, it will boost the immune system. I'm an anesthesiologist. Immediately after completing the Kriya, I felt coolness in my respiratory tract. The entire respiratory tract feels much clearer. Right now, for all the medical personnel, doctors and nurses, we are offering inner engineering online free of cost. The way you think and way you feel, you can bring a certain amount of balance and control by doing the inner engineering online. All these insights that have been told to us by Sadhguruji, thank you so much. We needed someone to really calm the mind. Thank you Sadhguru for joining us. In this period, it's my commitment that people should not die of starvation. As part of the Isha's COVID relief efforts, Isha volunteers have been working in rural areas to ensure that vulnerable communities facing economic hardships had food to eat and basic amenities. Frontline workers also received free PPE kits to strengthen their defense against COVID-19. We खेल कूद में चलिए मैं आपको याद दिलाता हूँ खेल कूद को इनकी जिंदगी से जोड़ने का काम किया है ईशा फाउंडेशन ने ईशा ग्रामोत्सवम द लार्ज स्केल एफर्ट टू सेलिब्रेट द स्पिरिट ऑफ रूरल इंडिया हैज नाउ बिकम अ मूवमेंट दैट हैज स्वेप्ड थ्रू तमिलनाडु एंड हैज आल्सो बिगन इन द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश स्पोर्ट्स डांस एंड वेरियस रूरल आर्ट फॉर्म्स आर बिकमिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ डेली लाइव्स अगेन एंड आर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग रूरल कम्युनिटीज Games have brought a certain level of cohesiveness among people beyond castes or creed. All kinds of groups, all kinds of castes come together and play a game together and feel like one team. 
Bharti is not a simple transformation in the village. Congratulating Sadhguru ji and Isha Foundation for doing such a fantastic job. I've heard so much about this, but to be actually present here and to witness has been simply incredible. Many arts and many forms of celebrations in the state, we are trying to choose about fifteen to twenty and keep them alive in the villages. It's wonderful that an international body like UNICEF has taken up this cause. The most important thing is we keep the people of this nation in a high level of inspiration, health and well-being. Isha has been awarded India's Sports Development Award by the President of India. India's Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports also inducted Isha into its expert committee on sports for rural youth and recognized it as a national sports promotion organization. This wonderful youth and truth that you're doing gives me hope for an India of the future. When one is youthful, the energies are at their best. If you could bring little more clarity and balance to that life that we call as youth, I think uh, life could be harnessed much better. Very relatable for all of us and the way he answered them, uh, we could connect very easily. Uh, when we are not sure of what to do and how to plan our life ahead, it's a good thing that he's doing it at this age. Today, with the technological support, variety of technological empowerments, comforts, convenience, a sizable segment in the world Survival is taken care of. I think this is the best time to attempt this possibility that we can really see how a maximum number of people can unfold their genius. And if we do that, we could be one of the greatest generations ever. It's in this hope and mission that Youth and Truth has been launched. Mukherjee felicitating uh, his Sadhguru for all his spiritual contribution. A government begins to recognize spiritual process as a powerful process in the world. This whole effort is a volunteer effort. This is a volunteer and organization. Over 4,000 full-time volunteers were here and over 7 million part-time volunteers who've done many things. They've spent money from their own pockets and the amount of time and effort that they've put in I think for all of them, this is a wonderful acknowledgement that they have not been ignored by the nation. Spiritual process must become a live process in every society across the planet. Not as a religion, not as a philosophy, not as a teaching, but as a technology for well-being.